Beardo Benjo. Oh, oh. That's <laughs> weird. Up in there. Look how fast that one's going. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you good, you good, you good. It's fine, it's fine. Oh no! No, what? They're kind, they're kind of like little steps. Oh, go, 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 go. Stupid pigeon. Oh. you got to grab it. you got to grab it. Oh. oh. As if. If you don't know what Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout is at this point, then I really don't know where you've been. But let me try and bring you up to speed. Fall Guys is the Takeshi's castle of video games, the total wipeout of online competitive multiplayer gaming, and it is absurd, entertaining, and addictive, all in equal measure. The idea is simple. You play as a small bean-like creature called a Fall Guy, and you must compete with a total of 60 Fall Guys in a wide range of minigames, from races to obstacle courses, team-based games, and skill-based games, to be the last one standing. Now that might sound simple, but pulling off a glorious victory will take more than just luck. After spending around 6 hours with the most recent beta I learned a few tips and tricks that helped me capture that coveted win a few times, and I wanted to share these tips with you all. Now these aren't guaranteed ways to win every time mind you, so much of your success in Fall Guys is tied to the people you're playing against and a mad amount of dumb luck, but if you follow these tips closely you'll give yourself a great foundation to win yourself some crowns and be recognised as the most powerful Fall Guy in all the land. Number 1. Personal Space The mad rush of Fall Guys means that you're often pushed along in a tidal wave of scrambling bodies, but more often than not it's more beneficial for you to try and stay in your own little area of space. Try to stay away from other players, especially during minigames like Jump Club, Rollout and Whirly Gig. Being clumped up can often land you in more trouble than it's worth, especially if some other players are feeling a little bit grabby. Number 2. Surviving the Fruit Shoot the Fruit Shoot is one of the most frustrating games in Fall Guys, a conveyor belt that you must run to the top of whilst avoiding giant pieces of fruit and rolling logs isn't anyone's idea of a good time. But you can make this ordeal a little easier on yourself if you stick as close to the sides as possible. Now it's not a guaranteed road to victory, but hugging the right or left is a much easier climb. Also wait for everyone else to pile off the starting block first, give yourself some room to jump in. Number 3. The dive button is your best friend. If you need to jump over an obstacle in Fall Guys, and trust me, you'll be jumping over a lot of them, consider diving as opposed to simply jumping. When your Fall Guy dives, not only are they propelled forward, covering more precious ground, but they spread their centre of gravity, meaning that they're less likely to tumble about and start rolling on the floor after a dive. If you miss time or collide during a jump, you run the risk of tipping over and rolling around on the floor. This risk is almost entirely eliminated if you adopt the diving technique instead. Number 4. Seesaw Speaking of the dive technique, let's talk about the seesaw minigame. This one fills me with dread every time, but it need not be as daunting as it is. The two keys to surviving the seesaw are this. Firstly, dive towards the middle white line of each seesaw. By diving you stand a chance of landing and getting to your feet. If you jump, you can tumble and roll right off the seesaw platform. Secondly, don't be afraid to be patient. So many will rush this course and ultimately fall time and time again. Take your time and pick your moment to jump. Don't feel pressured by the wave of fall guys flinging themselves into oblivion all around you. Number 5. Be careful if you use the grab. Grabbing other players is funny, 
It can be used to annoy and even sabotage those players, but be careful. It's not a precise mechanic and it can backfire on you if you're looking to claim a win. The best policy is always to keep to yourself. Stay in your own space and avoid the grabbers, but if you really must grab, then make sure you're ready to deal with the consequences. Like this little fall guy. Yes, they sabotage me, but they eliminated themselves in the process. Surely it's not worth it. Number 6. Stealing Eggs and Goalkeeping In the Egg Basket minigame, four guys are split into teams and tasked with capturing as many eggs as possible in their own team baskets. Now this is where the grab comes in handy. Try to secure a decent amount of points nice and early, go for the gold eggs, and once they're in your basket, switch to defence. Four guys from other teams will try to raid you, but as long as you defend the stairwells out of your base and grab anyone who touches your eggs, you should be able to hold on to that early lead until the time runs out. Stealing eggs is expected here, so get points early and then defend them with your life. Number 7. Sabotage the Rolling Ball Now I don't have footage of this one, but you'll know what I mean once I start talking about it. If you're faced with the ball rolling team minigame and everyone on your team is working together to push the ball up the hill, I advise you to break away from them and run ahead, because the enemy teams will certainly have players doing this. If you run ahead in this game, you can sabotage the team's balls before they reach the end, or you can grab and stop those on the opposing teams that had run ahead to sabotage your ball. The entire team doesn't need to push the ball, so run ahead and stop or create a nice little sabotage. Number 8. Let others do the work for you. Many minigames in Fall Guys require you to reveal a path. Whether it's gate crash or tiptoe, someone has to go first to test the route and possibly be met with demise. So let someone else go first. Patience really is the key with a lot of these minigames, and although you need to keep up a good pace so as to not be eliminated by being left behind, there is a lot of value in letting someone else throw themselves at those fake doors whilst you just hang back slightly and see the real route reveal itself. Number 9. Don't get too excited. I have been robbed of victory by my own excitement several times now, and it never gets any easier. If you're lucky enough to make it all the way to the end and find yourself rushing up the mountain climb towards the crown at the top, then take a moment before you dive towards it. The crown at the top of the mountain moves up and down, so although you'll be full of adrenaline when you reach the summit, just wait a moment to make sure you can make the jump to grab it before doing so. And number 10, spin around on the spot instead of turning back. Little bit of a weird one, but lastly, if you're running at full speed up an obstacle course and an obstacle is coming right for you from the left or the right, so it's a moving one that moves from left to the right, instead of moving backwards to avoid it or trying to change direction and move to the sides, spin the left stick around to make your fall guy pirouette on the spot. It's better than trying to stop completely or running backwards and it lets your fall guy stay in the same place avoiding the obstacle, but it also keeps your momentum up to allow you to get straight back into running up the mountain. So if you're running up a mountain and an obstacle is coming at you from the side, but isn't in line with you, just spin the stick until it passes you by. Make your fall guy do a little pirouette, and then once it's passed, carry on running forward. And that brings me to the end of my very first Fall Guys Tips video. Now today is launch day and I am going to be playing a huge amount of the game so I wouldn't be surprised if I find out more little tips and tricks that help me get victories. If I do I'll put together another video and if you found this one helpful please let me know. Leave me a like, leave me a comment and hit subscribe. I really hope you're all enjoying the game. I'm absolutely loving it and I cannot wait to play more. I can't wait to unlock the hot dog costume. It really is the best one in the game I think personally. Hot dogs quite clearly are my spirit animal. They're not even animals but they are my spirit animal. I hope you're all enjoying the game. Happy launch day to you all. Let's go get some wins. I'll see you all out there. Take care. Where's the last floor? This next one's the last one. No, 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 no. Oh my God. <laughs>
Oh, Ben. We're together. <laughs> no! I've gone. I'm gone.